Hello friends, welcome back again. Thanks again for your support and valuable suggestions and feedbacks about my video contents. I could see many viewers had shown a lot of interest in cable functions and trying to go step by step with some short videos dedicated to each functions. In that way, in today's video, we will cover upon output signal based actions in cable programming. So before we get into the video, please do subscribe to my channel to get regular notification on my video contents. Okay, let's get started. In this session, we will be seeing about a use case about overspeed alert. Uh, so the logic behind this overspeed alert that we are going to verify in our CAPL is uh, based on the vehicle speed when it reaches beyond 120 kmph, this overspeed alert will be raised. So we are going to use the CAPL code in order to check this overspeed alert when the vehicle speed reaches more than 120. So let me run this scenario how it would look like. So I'm at the start of the script, what we will be doing is we will be checking the current vehicle speed at be 0 and then we will set the new vehicle speed which will, which will be 130. Once if the 130 kmph is set for the vehicle speed as a new vehicle speed, then it starts to increase. So once if the current vehicle speed, if it reaches more than 120, the overspeed alert will be raised and this is an environmental variable. You could see once if the speed reaches to 120, this overspeed alert is raised and this is raised in the form of a flag like 1. Now the same scenario is what we are going to try it out using a capital code. But here in order to verify this, it's quite tricky that we have to give sufficient delay in order to wait for this vehicle speed to reach more than 120 kmph. So here we cannot go for a fixed delay time in order to validate this vehicle speed and then to check on the overspeed alert. So it's important to go for the flexi delay. So that is what we are going to see it in this session. So first of all, open the vector capital browser and go to the file and click on to new. And in the new, you will find two different um, file extension. One is the uh, new capital document, which will come with the extension of .can which is nothing but the .can and then the second one is the uh, new capital include file which is nothing but it comes with an extension of .sin file which we can use it as a library function uh, which we could include in this include section but we are going to create a .can file so select this new capital document once if you have selected you will find a, uh, a blank .can file open like this and then uh, we will not find any uh, main test and all so you have to include that so go to the test control right click and then you will have a option enable like new main test so click on it and this is where all your test sequences will start to execute one by one and here I have included case one and uh, next day we are going to include the case two so the idea is that we are going to see two different cases one is like uh, we are going to set the uh, we are going to first read the current vehicle speed and then we are going to set a new vehicle speed and we will read the overspeed alert. So firstly, let us check that now. Test step is a function where we, we could print the data in the test report. So I'm writing it as vehicle speed so that in the section, so it's a vehicle speed section. And then what I'm going to read. I'm going to first read the current vehicle's speed. So in the current vehicle speed, I'm going to read a signal value. So I'm going to the, the signal data type, it's uh, integer. So I'm using it as percentage D. So then I'm going to call the signal itself. So I'm going to um, start with the symbol as dollar followed by the vehicle speed. Okay, now this function, it will print the current vehicle speed. The second step would be like, I'm going to set a new vehicle speed. So I have a environmental variable. So if I set with this, with any value, the vehicle speed will start to increase step by step. So I'm setting this at new speed as 130. So first I'm going to read the current vehicle speed uh, from the vehicle speed signal. And then I'm going to set a new vehicle speed uh, so I'm going to request a value with 130 so that uh, my vehicle speed will start to increase gradually. So here 
my main intention is to check my vehicle speed so test tab and then i'm going to read the vehicle speed again vehicle speed and here i'm going to see the new vehicle speed and here i'm going to use it as for example float to show you the difference between the uh, signal data type again i'm going to call with the vehicle speed signal uh, either you could do it in this way or else also you could do by typing into the right side vehicle speed and then your vehicle speed will be listed down so drag and drop it over here it will be even more easier and then you can add the symbol dollar so that it will be reading and uh, you will print it over there in that specific format and also i'm going to read the over speed alert i'm going to copy the same i'm going to put it over here and this is with a name called speed alert and in the speed alert i'm going to check the i'm going to print again inside the this report as speed alert in character in string sorry and then the value would be like either zero or one zero means the speed alert is uh, not raised one means it's a flag raised for speed alert and there i'm having an environment variable like over speed over speed alert and so i use the at symbol so now our first set of code is ready so what we are going to do here is the first step it reads about the current vehicle speed the second step is like we're getting we are setting a new speed and then the third step is we are reading the new vehicle speed and fourth step is to check the speed alert so here as per the concept as per our design once if the vehicle speed reaches more than 120 kmph only then the speed alert will be raised now you have to note that we haven't given any delay between these test steps so if i run this particular test step let us see first of all how it runs so i let me compile it i didn't find any error so go to your capital i mean cano window and then go and link it over here this uh, function i have already linked it so let us also show you about the graphics in a separate window the side by side so right click and make it a standard so that you can see it visually and now in the test tab okay uh since i configured this module test test module like it, it will start immediately when the measurement starts so i check this box so that uh, uh, i don't need to run it separately so i when i start the measurement my code will start to run so you see i started and if you see it stopped there is no time delay we haven't given we have we have given so uh, this is the reason why the test has started and if you see my current vehicle speed is also zero my new vehicle speed is also zero and speed alert is also zero so now we have to give some sort of a time delay between the step steps in order to reach it so let me give some time delay using the test wait for timeout function and in the test wait for timeout you can give a time delay of for example five seconds so i um, the unit the argument should be in uh, of data type of milliseconds so i'm giving it as 5000 here it means that it will wait for five seconds let us now check about it let me run this measurement now if you see my test is still running for five seconds if you see now my test got stopped here if you see it in the live graphics the maximum vehicle speed it has reached is 24 kmph now when we read our test report 
the current vehicle speed at the start is 0 and the new vehicle speed which we have set is 130. So my vehicle speed started to ramp up but then the delay is not enough to reach to 130 kmph and the logic in order to set the speed alert is nothing but 120 more than 120 kmph. So the condition for setting the speed as 130 it's correct but the problem is how long we have to wait we are not sure about this wait time so for example if i give it as 10 seconds here maybe it can it can work but we are not sure that at what point of time the signal will reach to that value so this is a drawback of going with this kind of a case let me run with 10 second delay now this particular test will run for 10 seconds of duration since my wait time is set as 10 so if you see at the moment at which it reaches to 10 my test got stopped and the final vehicle speed attained at that particular point at 10 second is somewhere around 50 so it's really hard for us to understand from the uh, test perspective that how long we have to wait so this is not an effective way so now we have to go for a case two. now this is the way uh, this is nothing but the actual part that we are going to see it in this particular session this is nothing but the output signal based action so we have some set of actions here the action is nothing but the um, the action is to verify the over speed alert but at which point of time it is based on the speed it has reached but i'm not sure about how long i have to give the delay here so instead of giving a fixed hard coded time delay which we are not sure about when the output signal will reach in that in those cases it's best that you go for some sort of, sort of a looping logic so i copy the same steps over here and then at this point of time instead of giving a fixed wait time let me use a while loop here so while what i'm going to do i'm going to check the signal so i'm going to check the vehicle speed signal so vehicle speed signal is less than or equal to 120 for instance so 120 is my 120 is my uh, limit in order to raise the over speed alert so i give that as a logic and here inside this while loop you can give a time delay of 100 milliseconds so 100 milliseconds and then you can use the same test steps here now what happens as per this particular logic is that you will print the current vehicle speed at the first and then you swap the new speed as 130 and then you are going to go for a flexible or a output signal based wait time so it is not going to be a fixed wait time it is based on the signal based value like once if the vehicle speed has reached 120 or until it is less than 120 it will be inside this loop and once if this condition is not true this loop will be exited and then it, it comes to the next step so what happens in our output will be something like it sets to 130 and then it starts to increase my vehicle speed will start to increase and then this particular loop inside which the delay will keep running and then once if the in, if the loop condition is satisfied it just comes out of this loop and then it prints the vehicle speed at that point of time ideally after 120 uh, kilometer per hour the next 100 milliseconds duration at which this particular statement will be printed and at that point of time ideally we should have the over speed alert raised so let us see how it works let me go into the case 2 function call here i am going to disable the case 1 because we are not going to work on the case 1 let me check my compilation i didn't find any errors let me start my measurement so if you see here me, I just configured it here like um, okay. 
my code is still running. This is because it is inside this while loop and my speed is raising, raising, raising and it reaches to 120 and this is where my test actually gets stops because uh, once if it has reaches reached to 120 kilometer per hour so you see here 120 after which the loop got exited and then it reads the signal and then it comes out of the loop because i have the final test step as stop and so my entire measurement got, got stopped let us have a look at this point of time you see the speed alert has been raised as one it was initially with the value of zero let us see it in the report okay, it takes time let me close the older report okay if you see here the current vehicle speed at the start of the measurement is zero and then we set a new new vehicle speed it is nothing but 130 but then we have a condition in place like once if it has reached to more than 120 uh, then we check on we, we we exit that loop and then we we'll come out of the loop and then we will read the we, we will check the over speed alert uh, whether the flag is set as one or not so in this case it has reached to flag one the speed alert is raised because the vehicle speed is more than 120 so this is how you can use the uh, test steps in such a way that you could give some flexi delays based on the signals you do, you do not need to go for a fixed time delay because uh, in not in all the cases we will find exactly the uh, delay for the signal change so in certain cases we will reach to that particular signals signal value after some flexi time time delay so in that in those kind of a cases you can make use of this case too so this is how you could use the output signal based actions through capel i hope this video would have been much interesting for you please try it out it will work good for you so with that we had come to the conclusion of this video so hope you got an insight about how to set an action based on the output signal through capital coding if you like this video hit the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos which are about to come thank you and see you in another video